Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is a video of first boot. Awesome! I love the first boots because it's something new that I'm showing you guys, and it's the Windows 8.1 Enterprise Preview. And as you can see on the screen, it's here. Uh, Windows has finally created an Enterprise Windows 8.1 operating system for those business class remember windows 8 was not uh made for a business environment it, it was mostly built for a tablet environment or a home environment never for like a business setting you know domain controllers adding uh at the directory users and all that craziness with the t uh, the business world so believe it or not microsoft uh gave in and they created an enterprise so i already downloaded the iso the iso is about let me see how big is the iso so i can actually tell you guys and uh we could, we could boot it up uh the iso is about uh 2.5 gigs i will provide the link at the bottom of the description so you guys could go to get a copy and test it out and let's 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 start let's do the first boot i already have my uh I already have the ISO already mounted to my virtual machine, so I'm gonna press OK. I'm giving it uh, one gig, one processor, 15 gigs because it's only for testing wise. It should be enough. And let's hit power. Let's do a first boot with you guys. This is pretty exciting. And as always, you have the nice little Windows setup. I don't think this is ever gonna change when the Windows 7 or Windows 8. So what we're gonna do is a next, and we're gonna do an install. And setup is starting. Uh, Revy Common. Not, I don't think nothing's changed. I think the environment and certain little uh, things with the Windows operating system with 8.1 has changed. Uh, I know a lot of security lockdown has changed. Uh, accept the license and terms. Let's hit next. We're going to do a custom install 15. And we're going to hit next. So, real basic. This is not nothing's changed right now it's copying all the files It's getting ready to do the installation and let's go back over here and see and we're back so uh, it finally initialized itself and installed the operating system so now it's time to do the personalization of the Windows 8.1 again we're doing a first boot of Windows 8.1 enterprise so I'm gonna pick my color and let's give it a name I normally give it BJ tech news dash PC and we're gonna go to next. Uh, I'm gonna do the express settings for now, and just checking if I got an internet connection. Now, I wanna I wanna give you some of the features of what Windows 8.1 Enterprise is coming with. What what Microsoft is offering with this Enterprise Edition? Now, it has Windows to Go Creator, which allows the IT organizations to create a fully manageable corporate Windows 8.1 desktop on a bootable external USB drive pretty cool um, okay still setting up the account uh, another cool thing is the start screen control which uh, IT department can now control the layout of the start screen on company issued devices to ensure key apps are easily accessible that's pretty awesome uh, I am going to connect this PC to a Microsoft account. I don't want to do that. Let's do customize. Uh, you connect to a network. Do you want your? Do you want to find PCs, devices, and content in the network automatically? Uh, you, no. Wait. Let's go back. Let's do Express again. Let's do that one more time. This is a little little new. I, I I don't think I noticed this when I was doing Windows 8 with you guys, which is pretty strange. But back to some of the other fe you know, other features that Windows 8.1 Enterprise is coming with. Now you got direct access, which allows users uh, access resource inside of a corporate network remotely without having to launch a separate VPN. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's, what's this? Hey, let's, let me just sign in. Why not? Let's just do this. Do this the right way. Right now, right? 
you're gonna do it once let's do it once and let's do it right so let's hit next now another cool thing is branch uh, cash which employees in branch offices no longer need to download content multiple times across the wide area network the WAM so that's pretty cool so rather than uh, pulling a certain file let's say in Costa Rica it's actually going to cache locally to your site so you're not actually accessing it in Costa Rica you're accessing it locally so that's pretty cool uh, help us protect your account you need to use a security code to verify your account ah I'm gonna skip this for now do its thing hurry up please uh, another cool thing uh, for those virtual guys you have the virtual desktop infrastructure the VDI uh, users will enjoy rich desktop experience and the ability to play 3d graphics uh, use USB peripherals and use touch enabled devices across any type of network LAN or WAM for a VDI scenario which is pretty cool uh, you also have app locker I don't think app locker was enabled with the Windows 8 preview again Windows 8 was mostly created for um, a tablet world uh, what is this? SkyDrive is your cloud storage. Turn off these. Yeah, I'm going to turn, turn this off. It's, it's saying it's not recommended, but I, I don't want to deal with it. I'm just going to turn it off. Just create my account. And uh, another cool thing is Windows Enterprise Side Loading. Now, what's side loading all about? It's an internal Windows app which can be side loaded on domain joint PCs and tablets running Windows 8.1 Enterprise which is pretty cool is internal web Windows apps cool so that means if you have uh, developers in-house you could basically most likely they're gonna be creating apps and they could just you know put them in your your you know your, your machine that's pretty cool another cool feature with Windows 8.1 Enterprise you have workplace join which trusted devices running Windows 8.1 are allowed to access secure enterprise data. You also have Open MDM. Now, MDM stands for Mobile Alliance Device Management. It's built into the OS and enables mobile device management using third party MDM solutions such as Mobile I Iron, I think. Yeah, Mobile Iron or AirWatch with no additional agent required basically enhanced policies allows administrators to manage more settings from both windows in tune and the third-party mdm solution for both windows 8.1 and windows rt 8.1 which is pretty cool uh, you also have inbox vpn clients which windows 8.1 extends the ability to third-party vpn providers to include versions of their vpn clients inbox this means that on both x86 and the arm rt platform vendors can work with microsoft to include their vpn functionality in box with windows 8.1 so much exciting features that 8.1 is has for enterprise though and we're back it has finally finished installing uh it did its final reboot and it logged me in automatically because I logged in into my Microsoft account. But I kind of find something pretty cool. And what I find cool is ever since I started doing these Windows 8 and 8.1 videos with you guys, uh, my desktop settings have trickled down. So that means if I create a new virtual machine right now or a new Windows 8 and I log in with my credentials, my settings follow me. That's pretty awesome that's I give I give Microsoft two thumbs up for that uh, so far it looks just like Windows 8 but the only way we can actually test this guys is if I add this bad boy to Active Directory and you know start playing around most likely that's gonna be in future videos uh, if you guys have any questions or on any of the enterprise features that you want me to touch base on right away hey shoot comments right below and let me know uh, give me thumbs up and hopefully you guys enjoy this first boot of Windows 8.1 enterprise preview and I catch you guys later peace out